GPS stands for Global Positioning System. It is a constellation of over 30 satellites orbiting Earth at about 20,000 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. These solar-powered satellites circle the Earth twice every 24 hours, while continuously transmitting radio signals to Earth. The constellation is arranged in six equally spaced orbital planes. This is to ensure that at any point in time, radio signals from at least four of these satellites can reach a GPS receiver anywhere on Earth. At the same time, a global network of ground control stations make use of radar to track and monitor the positions of these satellites and sends control and data back to the satellites. The GPS radio signals contain information such as ranging signals and navigation messages which include data used to determine the position of each satellite in orbit. When GPS signal from a satellite is picked up by a GPS receiver on Earth, the receiver is able to calculate its distance from the satellite using time of flight measurement. The ranging signal transmitted by the satellite is a digital pattern in the form of a pseudorandom code. This pattern is compared with the same pseudorandom code generated by the receiver. Due to the distance between the satellite and the receiver, there is a time delay between both patterns. The time delay is equal to the signal's travel time. As radio waves travel at the speed of light, the distance is calculated by multiplying this time difference with the speed of light which is about 300 million meters per second. Once the distance between the satellite and the receiver is known, we can then construct an imaginary sphere using the distance as its radius. However, knowing the distance from one satellite is not sufficient as the receiver can be anywhere along that sphere. With the distance to a second satellite known, two spheres are then constructed and the intersection of these two spheres allows the receiver's position to be narrowed down to a region where both spheres overlap. With known distance to a third satellite, we now have three spheres and the intersection of these three spheres is where the GPS receiver is on the Earth's surface. This method is known as trilateration. Measurement from a fourth satellite is necessary for the receiver to obtain a 3D position fix which provides altitude information. Each GPS satellite contains an ultra-accurate atomic clock which is very expensive. The GPS receiver on the other hand, uses an ordinary quartz clock. As the speed of light is a very big number, a small error in timing could cause the location to be off by about 10 kilometers. Hence, measurement from a fourth satellite is also needed to solve the time deviation from the atomic clocks and synchronize the receiver's clock with that of the satellites. The receiver constantly resets its clock to be in sync with the satellite's atomic clock. By doing so, the receiver can achieve almost the same atomic clock accuracy of the satellites. Therefore, with measurements from at least four satellites, the GPS receiver is able to provide you with your location in latitude, longitude and altitude as well as time. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe.